Toys R Us just released the very first fully AI commercial made with OpenAI Sora. Everything in AI is picking up speed and it's like treading water to keep up with it all. I'm gonna jump in in detail into a lot of these as separate videos instead of just one big news piece, but I'm gonna bring the headlines right here because each one has packed such a large punch, it's hard to talk about it in a short segment in a news roundup video. But I'm gonna scratch the surface here and do more in-depth deep dives as I can. If you're new here, my name is Ben Silverman, and I am focused on simplifying AI for all creatives and creative people to make it feel like you have superpowers. I have a newsletter that I put out once a week, diving into all the latest and greatest in the AI space, and I have soft launched my new website, my AI toolbox, which I will leave a link in the description. There I'm gonna be posting all the tools I come across, my inspiration, news, and eventually much, much more. Now, if you find any of these videos useful, please don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel by hitting that button below and leave a comment if there's anything else you would like to see me do. So Toys R Us just came out of nowhere and created almost an entirely made commercial with AI. Check this out. Do you ever wonder how Toys R Us and Jeffrey the Giraffe came to be? The son of a bike shop owner, Charles Lazarus, had a vision that would go on to change toy stores forever. That commercial was made with Sora and tells the story of the founder of Toys R Us. You know, everything was created with text prompts and some took quite a lot longer than others. You now Sora still doesn't have a public release date even though tools like Dream Machine, Kling, Runway Gen 3 are starting to be used. How they're gonna compete, I mean, this is definitely one way. They're going straight for the brands and the bigger agencies most likely, and then probably developing something internally and more proprietary with them. We'll see. Figma just made some incredible tech announcements, reimagining their entire platform with AI. Now design will be changed forever. And if you remember, Adobe tried to buy Figma, that whole thing fell apart. But now that might've been the best thing for Figma out of everything because ultimately theirs looks incredible. I'm gonna have to jump into this in a separate video, but one incredible thing to note is how they just entered the game of AI presentation makers. Now these tools have been around for a little bit like Beautiful AI, Tome, Gamma, Pitch, Dectopus. Now this, however, looks like the best one I have seen yet, and I am really excited to get my hands on it. They're gonna start releasing it out to everybody in beta. Uh, it is absolutely incredible. Check this out.
Unbelievable. I'm going to deep dive into this and go over all of those features. Now, they're going to be helping beginner designers with AI suggestions and just help take some of the busy work out of design process for more of those advanced users. You're going to have to check it out yourself, but I'm going to do a deep dive as well. Now, there's a tool called Captions that has been around for a little bit to help people put captions in their videos and miter editing needs. They just released an update which takes it way, way further than that. Some creators and content makers are concerned with content being so easily mass produced, but the thought is, is it still needs heart and a good story, which is only created by humans involved. Let's check this out for a second. This is the website. Now, if you check this out, you can use it for a teleprompter, and that's one thing that the, the, the tool does. It helps you with enhancing speech, helps you focus your eyes and gives you eye contact, AI speech correction, so it helps correct any mistakes that you might have recorded with one tap. That's what it says. AI lip dub, so you could change your lip movements in post-production to edit the content of your speech. Some of these other tools like HeyGen have been doing that for a little bit, but now it's one of these all-in-one tools that's really, really helpful. Now, here is the interesting part, editing and cinematography. So um, this is where it gets a little interesting. You can add transitions, you can add zooms, you could use it for color grading. You can use it for uh, color schemes and removing the backgrounds to your videos. Again, a lot of other tools are doing this, but they're all doing it separately. Rotoscoping, so putting things behind you as well. It helps you with sound and music. So if you look at the top here, it has all of the tools. So online video editor, video translator, background noise remover, ad generator, clips, subtitles, eye contact. But um, the, the main one that I'm talking about right here is this online video editor, which is becoming really interesting. Check this out. This is edited with AI by a creator. As AI advances, there's a risk it could generate content as good as human creators, making it harder for us to get noticed. But we shouldn't give up. We need to figure out how to use AI to our advantage while showcasing our unique human creativity and perspective. It'll be a challenge, but I believe in us creators. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. It's interesting. I'm really excited again to dive into that one as well. Another tool that I'm really excited to get my hands on soon. I just came across a new product called Shift, which can take all of your applications that you use on a daily basis and put them inside one interface, right? which looks similar to something like Discord. Now, this is one of the first ones that I have seen and actually got really excited about. I'm gonna go into a deeper dive in another video, but just let me show you right here. So this is it. Now see, look at this. All of the applications are in the left-hand side. Um, and then one of the things that they're trying to talk about is instead of switching back and forth, back and forth, everything is literally in this one application. Mail, applications like Slack, Messenger, LinkedIn, extensions. Uh, all of them just stay right here. So you only have one tab and you do everything inside. Uh, I know I'm big on tabs. I mean, all I have to do is you can see all of my tabs up here. So I'm huge on tabs. So this is really exciting for me. All of your applications are in one place. You could focus browsing by account. You could switch accounts. I'm just really stoked. I'm gonna download this and again, do a deep dive and see if it's actually worth it. I'll leave a card here when I do that video so you can just click on the link and see what the deep dive is like. Okay, so I just tried this one and I am extremely excited about it. 11 Labs just launched an iOS app that you will turn any text from an email, an article, PDF into a readable program. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about right now. So I'm gonna just come into my phone right here and uh, just coming into VentureBeat for a second. Look, Google Imagine 3 text to image foundation model comes to Vertex AI. Okay, so I'm gonna open that. And then this article, like I'm driving, I really need to, uh, I can't, I can't be reading this while I'm driving, but I also don't wanna waste my time, right? So I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna click on that button up there, and then I'm gonna go across here and go to more, and I am gonna open up in Reader. Now it's gonna open up the Reader app, and it's gonna take that entire article right here, and it just turned it into text for... Video, Kaiser Permanente, and Capital One Leaders only at VentureBeat Transform 2024. That's pretty Gain incredible. Essential insights about Gen AI and expand your network at this exclusive three-day event. Learn more. 
Google's next generation text and to image foundation model really is good. coming to the company's Vertex AI platform. Image and 3 will be available for select customers in preview, offering develop You can skip ahead, you can change voices. I can change it to uh, a British lady. Developers faster image generation, better prompt understanding, a photorealistic generation of people, and greater text rendering control within an image compared to its predecessor. I can make it faster. Introduced to Google I.O. in May, Imagen 3 was initially available to select creators in a private... It's incredible, but anyway, three Harvard dropouts just raised $120 million to take on NVIDIA's AI chips. Now the company, it's called Etch. They're developing a chip called Sohu, which will be used to train and deploy AI models using transformers, which is similar to what is underpinning ChatGPT. Now right now, NVIDIA has more than 80% of the market share for AI chips. So these three kids are trying to disrupt that. Earlier this week, Udio and Suno were sued by Warner Music, Sony Music, and Universal Music saying that they are training their models on copyrighted works. Udio responded saying they are not reproducing copyrighted works. They stand behind the tech and believe it will become a mainstay of modern society. They also stated that every tech in music was greeted with apprehension, but ultimately proven to help the artists involved and help literally the executives, the labels, everyone, and then everyone started using it. I'm gonna leave a link to the full comments in the description for you to check out for yourself. That's all I have for you today. Check out some of these tools. I'm gonna to leave all of them in the description for you. And then I'm gonna deep dive into a lot of these other ones and do separate videos, but I just wanted to give it to you here right away so you can play with them if you'd like. Thanks again, subscribe, check out all of my resources, and I'll see you next time.